Field biologist Mark Mallison is always on the lookout for whales. It was no different Sunday. We had a report from a halibut fisherman of some whales seen, and it was very close to where we were, and we eventually spotted them and realized it was J-Pod. The whales were the endangered southern resident killer whales, only this time there's an added element. Within a few minutes of them on the approach, we realized there was a brand new calf in the group. So it was quite exciting. This newest addition to J-Pod is J-63. The welcome baby news coming as a complete surprise. We had not been expecting to see a new calf anytime soon. Um, this is J-40's first calf. Um, so it's always, always exciting when a, a female kind of starts reproducing. Um, and yeah, we're, we're cautiously optimistic at the moment. The last baby born to J-Pod is J-62, seen here on February 17th. But it's been a tough time for the Southern residents. Our last census that we published was in July of 2024. At the time, there were uh, 73 Southern residents. Since then, you know, we've had... Um, We've had those four documented births, um, two of which now are, are we are deceased. We've also had one other whale, um, uh, an adult male, uh, go missing in that time, also deceased. Spotted in Sunday's group is J35, who made headlines for carrying her dead calves for days, one in 2018, another in January. Out of the last five calves that have been born, that were you know that we've been able to observe and we were able to observe young you know more than half of them didn't didn't make it um and that's just not a way to rebuild a population weiss says that while he's cautiously optimistic the population is still declining now everyone is holding their breath that this newest latest calf survives